Brandon fights uh, Chase Ruin's boy that I, I grew up with, Ruin Weber High. He played for the Denver Broncos. Really, he was a pretty nice kid. I really liked him, but uh, he could, I guess he could be a wild hair from time to time. But his son's his son was going to Weber High or was going to go to Weber High with, with Brandon, and Brandon decided to go to Fremont, which made some of the boys at Weber High upset that he went to Fremont. So they were always calling him on and his buddies from Fremont on, trying to fight him, fight each other. Well, anyway, finally him and Chase Jones finally got at it down at Smith's and 12th Street on uh, Harrison uh, one night, and they fought for, Brandon says they fought for you know five or ten minutes. I don't know what the, I don't know exactly what happened. But he came home that night, and he was just tired. He says, oh, Dad, I fought Chase Jones tonight. I am, I am so tired. Anyway, he had a few scratches and stuff on him, but overall he was in really good condition. They, they fought and got out of there before the cops got to him. But anyway, um, uh, Chase's mom didn't like him fighting and so forth. And I, 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 thought I laughed and I talked to Chase one time. I says, I heard you guys had a pretty good fight. And he kind of looked at me strange. But Brandon and Chase eventually got along and kind of, uh, you know, became more friendly to each other when they went to college or something like that. But anyway, uh, Brandon, another uh, fight that Brandon got in was when he was in uh, about fifth grade. Some kid was bugging him, and he was, you know, knocked, telling him, told him to knock it off, and the guy wanted to fight. He says, okay, I'll meet you at the, the flagpole. And Brandon went out by the flagpole and was waiting for this kid. I think he might have been a sixth grader, but I'm not sure. The kid walked out, saw Brandon, and just kept on walking. 